Welcome to this exam preparation video where I'll show you how to answer a question on mitosis. The question shows us an image of some chromosomes from a human cell during mitosis. They've been stained and arranged into their homologous pairs. We need to give two pieces of evidence that this cell was undergoing mitosis. This is for two marks. The question states that we should use figure 1 rather than figure 2 and we have to explain our answer, which means not only do you state the evidence, but also say why. A good trick when asked to explain the answer is to use the word because in your answer. Because this word forces you to back up what you just said. See? It worked. If we look at the cell cycle, we can see that the mitotic stage is just a small section here. If we bring in one of the chromosomes from the image in the question, we can use it to provide our answer. The first piece of evidence comes from the fact that the chromosome is made of two chromatids. The chromatids are identical to each other and were formed when the cell underwent DNA synthesis in the S phase, or the DNA synthesis phase. Having two chromatids means that we know that the cell must have been in the latter stages of its cell cycle. We also know from our studies that for much of the cell cycle, DNA is arranged as an extremely long molecule wrapped around various histone proteins. But just before mitosis begins, the DNA condenses or coils up in order to prevent the chromosomes becoming tangled as they divide. And that is exactly the appearance of our chromosome. Look! So we have our evidence, we just need to write it down. So we write something like, each chromosome is made of two chromatids because the DNA has replicated. This puts the cell in either G2 or mitosis. The chromosomes are visible under the microscope because they have condensed. Chromosomes do this just before mitosis. We could have also stated how the cell was undergoing mitosis rather than meiosis. In this case we would have said that there is no evidence of chiasmata the crossing over of chromatids from different chromosomes. Notice that I've used the word because in both parts of my answer in order to make sure I've explained. And also for both parts I've referred exclusively to the chromosomes in the diagram on figure 1, just like I was asked to do. It's important that you do as you're told. Your parents or carers have probably been telling you that for years. This next part asks us which stage of mitosis is shown in figure 1. If we have a look at the stages as described in textbooks, we can clearly see that prophase is the correct answer. The chromosomes have condensed, but are not aligned, or beginning to separate. You should remember the order of the stages of mitosis, as well as a summary of what happens at each stage. A simple mnemonic would work well here. This one's quite good. Training a dog to pee on a mat. It's often the case that the weirder the better with mnemonics. So you could even make the image about yourself and use the phrase I pee on a mat if you include interphase. So that's it. Make sure you click the thumbs up and subscribe for future videos like this. Follow me on various social media for latest news or revision tips. Good luck with your revision and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.